four days till Christmas, and dear friends, four days to Christmas. Shepherds were out in that field. They were all alone. They were doing something that had been passed on from generation to generation to generation to generation. They were out in those fields with their sheep. A very lonely existence because who do you talk to <laughs> except to the sheep? Very lonely. Loneliest man on this earth happened to be the only man on this earth when God declared him to be lonely. The guy's name was Adam. Everything that God had done up to that point, God had said, this is good, this is good, this is good. He creates the sun, moon, and stars, the plants, the animals. He creates everything. And after he creates anything, he says, this is good. It's Genesis 2. And he looks at Adam sitting there in the garden, and he said, it is not good for man to be alone. For the first time in God's history, he says, this is not good. This is not good for man to be alone. And here comes Eve, the first wife, the first bride, Genesis 2, 18. The irony becomes this. The church on this earth and the church in heaven is called the bride of Christ. Why is the church called the bride? Because it is not good for Adam to be alone, and here comes Eve. It is not good for me, Paul Strand, to be alone. It's not good for you to be alone. And here comes the babe of Bethlehem. Here comes Jesus. I need him. I don't know about you guys, but I need him. I need the good shepherd. I need him to make still waters when the waters are raging. I need him to make brown pastures in my life become green with life. I need him to restore peace to my soul. Not a couple of times a month, but dare I say to you that I need God to prepare to give peace to my soul five times a day, 10 times a day, 20 times a day. I need him, I cannot be alone. Fear and worry, shame and guilt, hatred, anger, vengeance, those are all things that Satan brings into our life and they isolate us even more. They become so powerful we lose sight of Jesus Christ himself. I need him. I need him to set a table before me in the presence of my, of my enemies. I need to say to my enemies, get away from me. Jesus is sitting at this table and I'm going to sit and talk with him. I need someone anointing my head with oil. I need someone of whom I can say, Truly God's goodness and mercy has been with me every single day of this year, every single day of my life. And when my life is over, I will dwell in his house forever. It is not good for any of us to be alone. Why else do you think God sends a choir of angels with this word? Unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, a companion, a mighty counselor, an everlasting father, a prince of peace. And here comes that baby called Jesus. And for the rest of mankind's life, all the way to heaven, Paul Strand is never, never, never alone. And neither are you. Rejoice in the gift of the Christ child. Proclaim him in our Savior's name, amen.